the, the threat that Asian carp are going to have on the Great Lakes is mainly the result of their competition at the very base of the food chain. They're, they're eating all the small stuff out in the water that all other fish species, at least at some point in their life, need to survive. And if the Asian carp build up large enough numbers, they can outstrip the, the, the plankton population, which is already in a stress level to begin with, mainly because of the zebra and quagga mussels. Um, so we just do not need something else out there competing with, all, with the limited amount of plankton that's left out there because eventually the sport fish fishery uh, is going to suffer even more than it already has. Well, both silver and big head are both plankton feeders, so they will both have the impact to the food chain. One difference between the two species, though, is that the silver carp is the jumping fish. Um, very common now to see silver carp jumping on YouTube videos. Uh, generally in Mississippi and Illinois rivers, although one video was shot down the Wabash River um, a couple of years ago. But the silver carp is certainly the recreational danger because 30 pound fish coming out of the water hitting boaters while they're doing uh, 10, 20 miles an hour uh, certainly poses a hazard to the boaters. So uh, uh, it's, that's a type of hazard that the big heads really don't pose because they're simply not jumpers. Uh, there are many things being done to try to stop them from getting through to the Great Lakes. You're seeing one of those uh, efforts right here. A lot of efforts going on in Chicago and then also a lot of efforts going on in the other uh, possible connection points that uh, may occur. Well this fence is designed to stop Asian carp but as you can see when, when you pan around and look at the rest of this fence is this fence is built on dry ground. It's not built across the creek. Um, but this is an area that floods when the Wabash and Maumee systems, they can flood together and this is the area they flood together. And this is the potential pathway that Asian carp can move from the Wabash River up toward the Maumee River. The silver carp get a lot more attention in, you know, further down the Wabash River because here at Eagle Marsh you can see it, there's no river here. This uh, water, this aquatic pathway only comes during flood stages and they have to be high enough for the waters to possibly mix here. And so um, there's no jumping carp here so the, the community doesn't see that unless you're on the water uh, in the Wabash River on a, on a boat. Well this is the, the standard a standard chain link fence. Um, as you will notice, we've got some very tight tolerances on, these, on this fence. We've got the two inch openings within the mesh, but you will also notice that any other openings we've got are very narrow openings. We do not want any more than a two inch opening anywhere around the fence. So even on the sill here of the, of the gates, we have very tight tolerances to not allow things to come, come under or come through. It is really designed to protect against the movement of adult Asian carp through the fence. Adult Asian carp are way bigger than a two inch mesh fence, so an adult will never get through this. We do not expect juvenile Asian carp to be anywhere near this area. We've seen big head carp as close as about 20 miles, which is uh, down this system to the Wabash River. That's about 20 river miles. And we've seen a big head carp uh, right in that area back in uh, 2004. We have no evidence that they, they are coming up Little River toward this marsh, but we have occasionally, one occasion, seen them down there at, uh, in the Wabash River. The types of floods that actually connect these two watersheds together is maybe once every uh, four to ten years. We do have floods that occur almost every year that actually put water over the watershed divide, which is which is further to the west here, but when it puts water over the watershed divide, it doesn't necessarily put water connecting the Maumee to the Wabash River system.